Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, we're talking about what might happen over the next couple days or weeks if a number of US cities might turn into war zones. If you guys have been paying attention to the news at all, you know that there have been protests going on and the chaos around those protests. There's been rioting and looting and some question as to, you know, who's exactly creating those situations, who's doing the looting, who's doing the rioting. Uh, but there's no question that it's happening around that. There have uh, been many instances of police acting very professionally, uh, you know, doing their job in an appropriate way. And there have been, unfortunately, many more instances of police not doing their job very well and acting very unprofessionally and helping to add fuel to the fire. On the topic of adding fuel to the fire, Donald Trump just said that he wants to deploy the U.S. military to U.S. soil to be used against U.S. citizens. Some people might think that that's far-fetched. Some people, by the way, this whole video is going to be offensive to anybody that is just a adamant Trump fan. And I'm not going to say, you know, liberals or conservatives or Republicans or Democrats, but there are some people, whether they are, uh, you know, conservative or not, that are just 100% Team Trump, no matter what he does, it's gospel. And this might be offensive to you. That's fine if you want to be offended. Make sure you let me know in the comments below about how, how offended you are. But in this video, we're talking about the reality of what might be coming, you know, whether or not you want to believe that that's real or not, that's up to you. But as a prepping channel, we like to think about things that are possible and to get ready for them ahead of time. And one thing that seems like it might potentially happen is, again, U.S. cities being turned into war zones. That might seem far-fetched to a lot of people, but aren't there a lot of things happening right now that six months ago, you would have said, that's far-fetched, that won't happen. So it pays to think about things ahead of time. So what would you do? What should you do if your city around you turns into a war zone? Well, there are a number of things, and a lot of them are specific to the individual, but the big thing that you should do right now is to think about it. Give it some thought about you know what your plans would be. Have some plans, because the last thing you want to do is to have no plan the sirens start going, the bullets start flying, and you don't really know what to do. One thing that I would suggest to you is that in your plan, you think about some place you might want to go, some place you might want to leave to. It's quite, uh, in the prepping community, we call that bugging out. Some people think that they would just go off to the woods somewhere and camp. Some people have rural land where they might go, but it could be as simple as going to a family or a friend's house or, you know, a hotel or a motel. That one's not quite as guaranteed because if there's a mass exodus of people trying to get out of a, of a potential war zone, then hotels and motels may book up pretty quickly. So it pays to have some kind of a sense of some place that you're pretty sure that you could go to and, uh, you know, have that kind of fallback plan. In addition to that, you're not going to want to just show up, you know, with just the clothes on your back if you're going to be going to like a friend's house you, or, you know, for that matter, if you're going to your rural land or you know wherever you plan on going you're going to want to have supplies so think about the kind of supplies that you would want to have and pre-pack your bags i've done videos about um, my bug out bag system here's a little link to it up here if you want to check it out i use a modular sort of bug out bag system and it's based on the idea of going camping i always figure if you know how to uh, go out and go camping then you already know how to bug out because the idea of camping is you grab everything you need with you and essentially bring it on your back or you know in a car if you're going to do car camping or whatever but you're taking care of all your needs, all your supplies, and you're bringing them with you. Those kind of needs and supplies are things like food, things like water. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, if I just leave, I could go to a restaurant, I could do this or I could do that. I, you know, all those things are going to be available to you. Probably, maybe, but you don't know. So it's a good idea to have some of those things available. Also, things like clothes. And uh, that's not just like clothes for whatever the weather is right now or right where you are. It's clothes for, you know, wherever you might be going and whatever the weather might be over the next couple of weeks. You want to have rain gear. You want to have things for warm weather, things for cool weather. You want to have, uh, you know, whatever uh, you and your family members might want to be you know, wearing. Uh, in addition to that, you also want to think about things that are spe uh, specific to you. Are there you know, medications that you need to have? Are there you know, uh, certain medical devices, glasses, contact lenses, things of that nature? If you pre-pack a lot of these things and have them ready in bags, I wouldn't recommend keeping a lot of it in your car because you know we're getting towards summer. Things can get hot. Things can melt in a car. They can go bad. But just having the bags ready to go can give you a feeling of, well, peace of mind anyway, that if something happened, you know, grab the bags, walk to the car, go. On the topic of a car, you may want to uh, have your car's gas tank reasonably filled up. You know, keep kind of topping it off, topping it off, because if you need to head out of the area uh, quickly, you know, there may be lines at gas stations. It may not have access. Maybe you are just being told that you can't stop here. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. And, you know, you want to be able to 
comply with that. You want you want to keep going. So maybe keep your your uh, your car's gas tank, you know, on the full side. Possibly also have a, a gas canister that you can use to you know fill up your your gas tank. You know, if it if it runs out. On the topic of that, if you plan on having it in the car, know that those things smell. You know, even if they, they're all sealed and everything, the gas fumes still uh, has some way of finding its way out of that. So one thing you can do is just grab. Um, at least one layer of trash bag just wrap it in a trash bag put a little twist tie on the top that really helps if you put two layers of trash bags it's just it's like a dream you can't smell it at all so you know if you have that that can give you a, you know several extra miles if you have access to that in addition to that and this might not be something you want to keep right in your uh, set of bug out bags because you might use it on a daily basis but identification your license birth certificates even you want to have that stuff available so that if you need to move you can prove your identity you know as things are moving in the United States at the moment we're getting pretty darn close to you know where are your traveling papers you know and we could go from not requiring that to requiring that pretty quickly you know it could almost be an overnight change so you want to have access to that kind of stuff so that you can demonstrate who you are and that you have a right to be wherever you you know, maybe when you are questioned about it. But the biggest thing that you can do is think about it. Just have some kind of a plan, game it out in your head in advance, and, uh, you know, realize that everybody's situation is going to be different. Everyone's situation is going to be unique. Uh, and the, the best expert on what exactly you need is you. So think about it now. Give it some thought, uh, give it some consideration, and give it some time. Uh, you know, get some bags together. Uh, you know, pack them, have them ready to go. And if something happens, you are going to be in a much better position than if you hadn't done anything. And uh, welcome to prepping if you're new. That's it. Thanks for watching and good luck. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.